Wilmington, North Carolina. This is a 64 bottom valve T120 Triumph. This is actually a mastermind of my dad, Johnny Norris. He built it just kind of thoughts and prayers of his dog, Chocolate Lab. Um, just researching and studying and doing old school stuff. He um, had a guy do the work for us. It was all his engineering project designs. He um, come up with the paint color, everything on it. It took uh, five years to build this bike. Used three different frames. The first one we had title work problem with it. Had to take it, break it back down. Used the second frame. It had a crack in the frame. Tear it back down. Put the third frame, which is on it now. So it's been a fun little bike. Eye catcher. Just plain and simple, and it's a joy to have. The color is Kenny Apple Red. It's all powder coat. Uh, very easy to maintain, just wipe it and go. Uh, washed it a few times, but not a lot. <laughs> a little micro cross on the rag and do the joys on it. The, the color was just something to make it stand out with the tank, the paint the front, doing the frame all the same. Just wanted something different to make it look good. The Buffalo Nickel with the nut where the frame bolts up was just a hole there and it just looked like it needed something there. And there was a nickel land on the counter and it fit right in the hole and we glued it in. So it just kind of took the space up and it could make it look so bland in the middle of it. No rhyme or reason for it, but just to have something to fill a gap. <laughs> the rear fender is actually a spare tire cover for a Model A. Cut in half. The strut was actually made the builder that built it, he made it for another bike. And it, that bike with that owner fell through, so it actually fit this bike perfectly, and we stuck it on here and mounted it up. The front's got a 74 front end, because that's when they started to pitch brakes on the front. We put um, the front caliper, the original one was powder coated to match the color of the bike. We didn't like the wet look. So we did a black one, didn't like the wet look. Put a chrome one on it. And that's the only piece of chrome on the bike, so it just makes the front end pop out a little bit more. Um, headlight and tail light were 1157 old school bulbs. First time I had to ride it at night, I'd have been better with flashlight on my phone. So I switched it over to an LED bulb, and that wasn't good enough. Um, so I actually put a whole LED fixture in it. It's in a base headlight assembly. Two. Um, the tail light was the same way with the 1157. Switched that over to LED just for safety reasons. <laughs> so, base headlight had the turn signals on it. The struts are actually just solid rod, just welded, heated down, and bent to make the holders for it kind of simple and takes the place of the assembly of the headlight bulb on the original World War II. There's a cowboy skull on the front. That was actually, the builder found that, and I think it was actually off a vape pen, he said. And it folded right up, just to give it a little old school factor. We've done trial and error stuff on it over the, we finished building it in 2020. And we've had, you know, issues and work out of it, so I had to change a few things on it. But just kind of kept it old school and simple. Dual lines, one on both sides. Old school, got to prime the pump to fill the bowl up. Usually fires in one, maybe two kicks. Um, motor training was built together. Because it's a one case assembly. So it's pretty sturdy. I've had to replace this kickstand twice. I broke it twice. <laughs> So the pin in it would shear and finally had one custom made pin, take the pin and put in it that would hold it. So just keep it all simple and like it should be.